All right, next up, uh, I've asked uh, Wes to talk about uh, service contracts, hardware and software. What do you get when you order a service contract? What are your expectations? Uh, would be some of the things that you should share back with him uh, when he's done with that. All right. Get quicker then. Down arrow. Down arrow? Yeah. Backwards from the two. All right, so Wes Kirk, I was originally a field service technician at one point. Moved up to consultant engineer fairly recently, and even more recently moved into the field service and management position after Eric uh, semi retired. Uh, so I helped customers out putting new systems, replacement hardware, analyzers, but also I help quoting our various services that we offer. And those service contracts are what I'd like to talk about now. So we have three main uh, service contract types. That would be maintenance, software support, and electronic data reporting contract. And there's actually two subsets under that, which are assistance and services. So our maintenance contracts, what you get is an on-site visit from one of our field service technicians. They come to your site, help uh, text out with whatever maintenance needs uh, need to be done during whatever quarter they come to site. Uh, and the scope and frequency of those is largely determined by the maintenance plan detailed in the site QA manual and also the O and M manual. Uh, and then frequency is determined largely by the level they can choose. We offer three levels of maintenance contracts. And that would be the annual, semi-annual, and quarterly. Annually means once a year, semi-annually means twice per year, and quarterly means once every quarter. Um, so the annual might make more sense for a site with fairly experienced technicians who know the kind of, uh, in and out. They know how to do all the audits already and are good at doing the maintenance tasks on their own. However, if they wanted us to come on site to look the systems over, do whatever maintenance needs to be done, make sure the sims is in good working order, working correctly, then that might be a good option. Uh, on the other end, uh, the techs are somewhat on the newer side, not as familiar with the sims, need some help getting started with the uh, maintenance tasks and whatnot. Then maybe a quarterly uh, contract might be a bit better off. Uh, and then also, to help you decide which one, we offer a progressive discount based on the level. The annual would be the base pricing. Semi-annual, you can have a 5% discount, and then another 5% on top of that if you choose the quarter. Uh, one thing to note, our base contracts do not include CDAs or linearities. Uh, we can offer those at uh, extra cost. Um, but, uh, that would be something we can definitely help out. Uh, moving on from hardware, going next to software. Oh, wait, first of all, let me, uh, I forgot. Here is uh, one of the example schedules out of the ONM manual. Uh, this shows uh, tasks based on a quarter by quarter basis. Say if uh, you got the annual maintenance contract. We would skip straight to this month 12 here and perform every single cost of maintenance task needed. That would include up to rebuilding the probes, uh, even up to cleaning the sample lines, depending on your process. Uh, 
if you went with a semi-annual contract, we would then just do month six and then month 12. We basically opt for the highest level of maintenance, depending on how often we go to the site. Then at quarterly, we obviously follow the schedule as um, here are some of the maintenance procedures that we would do. However, there's an, another list similar to this with maintenance tests. Uh, we like to test the alarms, uh, things like that, to make sure everything is working properly. Exercise flow meters, different things like that. Uh, and then, like I said, early moving from hardware to software. Our next contract type would be software support. Uh, with this, you get uh, phone as well as potentially remote support. You can call us with any potential concerns, questions, problems. Uh, and we can help you out with those. Say if you have a communications error or something isn't reporting quite right, uh, you can always call us up and we'll be there for uh, any support you need. Uh, also included in the software support contract would be any uh, minor version upgrades. Uh, so we're currently in the CDAR 7.24, somewhere around there. Uh, 7.25 would be most likely a free upgrade. Uh, some major updates such as CDAR 5 to 6, CDAR uh, 6 to 7 have been included in software support contracts for free in the past. However, with CR4, that would require a major database upgrade. And so the amount of work and time involved in that would be extensive. And so we, you would have to come to us for a quote for that. That would not be included in the software support contract. Uh, next up, uh, included would be software configuration changes. If you have, say, a limit or if you want something to display somewhat differently on your emissions table, you can contact, some, contact us and we would be able to help you out with getting that updated. Uh, also, the custom report building. Uh, we do have a wizard, but if you don't want to bother, we can always help you build a custom report based on what you need to see. Uh, 375X. Updates, that's our Part 75 reporting tool. Those are included in the software support contract. And lastly, EDR assistance, which brings me to my next topic. That's our electronic data reporting contract. Uh, these are part of Part 75. This is a quarterly requirement uh, where you have to submit reporting and QA documents to the uh, Emission Collection and Monitoring Plan System, or DC MTS. Uh, and then we have two levels offered under these EDR contracts, and that is Assistance and Services, as I said earlier. So EDR Assistance, this is limited support. Uh, you can contact us with questions. Um, Anything you need to get help with uh, building reports, pulling data, submitting the ECM. Yes, however, you're still required to do a large part of the work. Uh, so this is available on annual and quarterly options. This time annually being every four quarters, or I mean all four quarters. The quarterly option is uh, one quarter at a time. Um, this is a good option for uh, new users of ECMPS, those with more knowledge, uh, so we can help you get through uh, reporting to uh, EPA. Uh, if you're more inexperienced with this or you have a unique scenario such as uh, electronic analyzer exchange, you might want to go with our EDR services. That is where we do everything for you, basically. We do the heavy lifting. Um, 
So we have been involved with data retrieval, evaluation, uh, verification of all your QA tests. Uh, we have been built in XML um, files, submit them to the ECMPS, review it in there, make sure there's no major errors. And then once that's all done, we would give back control to you for formal submission to the EPA to the ECMPS. This would be good for new users who aren't quite sure what to do yet. We can take care of everything for you. Or if you don't have time potentially, don't want to deal with the hassle, this would be a good option. Again, uh, in a quarter of the unique, unique scenarios, such as an analyzer replacement, sentence replacement, not quite sure what to do with the reporting, we can step in and help you out during that quarter. Uh, so that would be ER services. Uh, so that basically concludes all of our services. Uh, so if you need to get in contact with us, you can either email me or orders, and we'd be happy to give you a quote for any of these options. If you're interested in pricing of the different uh, versions, don't hesitate to give us an email. Um, be happy to help you out, keep your sim running smoothly in the future. Any questions? All right. We have a whole group of people that do uh, just that, so that's their main focus is to do data analysis all the time. Uh, EDR score, software support, that's their job function. We have quite a few people to take care of all those uh, duties all the time, and they're there to answer your questions and make sure you're covered on all that you're doing. So, uh, uh, if you have a new plant, we just got a request in this morning. Uh, one of the SEMS techs is leaving one of the plants, and they need something right away for us to help them out. Uh, we can go out and perform maintenance on their system. Uh, and show while we're there, we can show them exactly what to do. We can bring them into our training system uh, that we have here in our offices and show them exactly what's going on. Uh, the training system is limited only in the sense that it uh, has thermal analyzers and teledyne analyzers in the rack. If you happen to have a Rosemont NDA or something, uh, you don't have to. So we don't have one of those analyzers in there to show you what, what to do with that. But uh, if we can come to your site, we can definitely work with you on uh, whatever the system needs are. And then it, I just got an email an hour ago uh, from a site that needs uh, some sense tech work and some help. So we're, we're there to, to meet your needs, whatever, whatever that looks like.